going? Yes. Hey, we're going. Hey, Josh and Suzanne here for Tidbits of Vintage. And um, today, this young man walked into my store and we were chit-chatting away and talking about all kinds of fun things. And I noticed his jacket. And I want you guys to notice it as well. So why did I notice his jacket? Well, because, first of all, the shape and the color spoke to me. Uh, I think I told you guys earlier on that I started off specialty with Levi's. And so I know quite a bit about Levi's and Levi items and colors and years and things like that. So the one thing I want to point out here, first of all, the tag. So come on up here for a second. This is not a big E. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna point out, this is not a big E, this is a lowercase E. Now, if this were a big E, you see that you see that right there? That would be an uppercase E, not a lowercase E. So when we talk about the big E, that's exactly what we're talking about. A lowercase E versus a bigger case E. Why am I pointing that out? Well, the other thing I want you guys to notice is the grain of the jacket. The grain of the jacket is up and down, you guys. This is a grain that existed during the time they were creating the Big E. So this material right here says to me that the lowercase e and this jacket are first generation of the lowercase e of the Levi jacket because we still have the Big E material in this jacket right here. We still have the, the down grain rather than the, the side grain going on with denim jackets. Another thing I want you guys to notice, and this is this is a big giveaway as well. We're gonna look at the collar, okay? Look at the point of the collar. The point of the collar is coming out, not coming down. That's also a giveaway that of the age of this jacket. So they first started doing side pockets, by the way, in the later part of the 70s. This has side park pockets on it. Let's see if it has the inner. Yes, it has the inner pockets as well, and it has the top po pockets. So this is known as a six pocket. Why? Because it has one, two, three, four, five, six pockets on it. So we have Levi jackets that are two pockets. We have Levi jackets that are four pockets. And we have Levi jackets that are six pockets. The other giveaway, the tag inside of here, you guys, is cloth. It's not nylon. Look at how old that is, okay? Look at this. It's telling you how to take care of it, et cetera. It has a, a, a serial number on it. That's another dead giveaway. It's a size 38. Today's 38, you guys, is like a large. This would be swimming on him if this was today's 38, okay? This is yesterday's 38. This is yesterday, before yesterday, before yesterday's 38. How about that? So we're looking for certain things on this jacket in order to age it. We're gonna have you turn around for a second. We'll put up your hood here. Mm -hmm. I like the hood with the jean jacket, you guys. It's always been something classic that I love. So we're gonna pull this up. What are we looking at now? First, we're gonna notice the outline of the tag. This is the original old tag of the Levi's. Okay, guys, for this age, it's small. It's not big, it's not like this. And this, by the way, is leather on the inside. Okay, it's not, it's not plastic. Another thing, we have one piece, one piece instead of two pieces going along. Certain points in making clothing, they figured out why are we doing one piece? It seems to be a waste of fabric. How about we take the other fabrics and do that? Another thing about this jacket, all from the same twill of fabric. What's a twill of fabric? It's a roll. It's a roll of fabric, you guys. You can turn back around, sweet pea. Um, it's a roll of fabric. And so this jacket with the roll of fabric all came off the exact same roll of fabric. When production changed and the warehouses changed, they started to do the pieces in different parts of the factory and then it would all come together at the end and put it together. So what's special about this jacket? It cannot be recreated unless it's recreated in a specialty shop. Okay, guys, you'd have to pay some good money to have something recreated like this. But the one thing they can't recreate is the color. Okay, the blue on this, you cannot recreate. You can come close to it, you cannot recreate it. Why? Because the dyes are against environmental laws. So that's another story that we'll go into at another time. But you have a really great piece here. And where did you find it? Uh, I was in North Carolina, Boone, North Carolina. I found a consignment shop named, uh, called Anna Bananas. Anna uh, Bananas, yeah, that's a fun name. $30. And for 30 bucks. Yeah, fucking A, guys. $30. $30. It's a fine, it's a steal, it's in great condition. Go find your. Wonderful, great condition Levi jacket. Yeah. All right, guys. See you. Later. Ciao.